Hey Brainiacs, my name is John Humphrey. I've been a member of the Brainwave uh, since fall 2018 when I attended the School Health Professional Conference in beautiful Golden, Colorado. As part of that conference, Andrew Romanoff, who is uh, previously associated with Colorado Mental Health, um, gave the keynote speech and really brought the house down and made a personal connection with me. Um, I was impressed by Mr. Romanoff's candor and also his advocacy for mental health, in particular around suicide prevention. As somebody who's been uh, working in schools for 12 years now as an educator, I recently decided to make the shift into mental and behavioral health to support student outcomes long term. Um, like me, Mr. Romanoff spoke about how he was a survivor of suicide and that that experience impacted his life's direction in ultimately a positive way to help other people get mental health services that they need to lead better lives, and that spoke to me. The thing that I really love about being a member of Brainwave is you get to learn about meaningful advocacy opportunities, both in mental health and wellness, as well as the legal and financial aspects that support this important work um, that is now um, really making a more robust service in Colorado for people who are struggling with drug addiction, depression, mental illness, um, whatever it might be, I really appreciate that Brainwave gives me an opportunity to connect with other people like you out there and build a sense of community. They do that in a few ways that really speak to me. First of all, they try and work on improving access in the state. Um, a lot of times that comes through financial means. Um, they work with the people um, right up the street from them in our state capital to try and make sure that we have funding so that we can support important initiatives. Um, in particular for me, the Zero Suicide Initiative that they concentrated so much of their efforts on in the last legislative session make a big difference in terms of improving lives not only of students and young people, like the folks that I get to work with every day, but also with people who might be struggling in silence, who might um, be a threat to themselves or others, um, and just need some support. And that makes a great difference to me, and that's one of the reasons why I joined the Brainwave. Um, I am not usually the type of person to like and subscribe or sign up for newsletters. Um, I am not the type of person to like or subscribe or sign up for newsletters. Um, but with Brainwave, that was a no-brainer, forgive the pun, because I knew that this was an initiative that was important to me and would make a great deal of difference to my students and other people that I might serve as a future counselor. I recently made the decision to uh, move out of the classroom and move into behavioral health to support students. And one of the things that I find is that there are a lot of obstacles and a lot of opportunities when it comes to making a difference in behavioral health. Thanks to folks that are involved with Mental Health Colorado, we have a chance to make a big difference in the lives of people in our state, in our communities, and our own mental health. So I encourage you to join um, like and subscribe is not enough. Um, you have to get out there. You have to be a presence in your community, and we can make a difference together to try and improve uh, wellness and mental health for all Coloradans.